Part 9. We are going to continue with directed numbers and look at examples in practical situations. Okay, you will find this on page 12 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Okay, let's look at three examples. Now, this three examples is the three ways of asking more or less the same question. So the temperature on a winter morning is negative 2. During the day, the temperature rises to 22 degrees. Work out the temperature increase for the day. So negative 2 going up to 22, I want that difference. Okay, so how do I find the difference? I say the maximum minus the minimum. So the maximum minus, and remember to put the minimum in brackets, that negative 2. Now, can you remember, we said a negative multiply a negative will give us a positive. So, 22 plus 2, so that difference will be 24 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's look how we can also ask this question. The temperature on a winter morning is negative 2. If the temperature, and here is the key word, rises by 24 degrees, so it goes up by 24 what is the warmest it will be on that day? So I'm asking this maximum. Now, if I want to find the maximum, it's actually just the minimum and I add, because rises means addition, that 24. Now, what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract and I keep the sign in front of the biggest movement, and that's positive 22. Now, to ask the sums, this is the keywords, rises, increase by, above, so that's the words that's indicating I'm going to add. Now the next one, the, it's again the same sum asking in a different way. The maximum temperature during a day is 22. So I give you the maximum. The temperature drops, there's the key word again, drops by 24 during the night. What is the minimum temperature during the night? So it's 22, it drops, it goes down by 24. Okay, drops means negative. So I take the 22, I subtract the 24. Again, if the signs are different, remember that 22 is positive. I subtract and I keep the sign in front of the biggest movement, which is negative 2. So that minimum temperature is negative 2. And again, the key words is drops, decrease, falls, that's all meaning negative, subtract. Okay, I want you to do the following in the, fol the three sums in the following way. I want you to first identify, is it the difference that they are looking for? Is it the maximum that they are looking for? Or is it the minimum? So is it like example one? Is it like example two? Or is it like example three? And then after you classify it, you can go and you can solve the sums. Okay, let's... You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. In the village, at a ski resort, the temperature was negative 1. On a nearby mountain top, the temperature was 10 degrees lower. There's your keyword, lower. What was the temperature on the mountain top? So what will this one be? It's going to be down, subtract... So if I must classify this, I will say this is like method three. I must find the minimum. Now, the next one, before we're going to do it, we're just going to go through it. The sea level at high tide is this. What is the sea level when it is 1.97 meters, is the key word, above this? So they are asking the maximum. And if they ask the maximum, look, then it's like method three. And then the last one, let's classify this. At noon on a particular day, the temperature at the bottom of a mountain was 12. And the temperature at the top of the mountain was negative 8. Calculate, here's the keyword, the difference between these temperatures. So this is going to be the difference like method 1. Okay, so let's start doing the sums. We are busy with try. Now, 11. Okay, I'm starting with question 1. In the village at the ski, the temperature was negative 1. 
Okay, at the near one, it was lower. So it's negative 1. It's like this one. So I subtract, and what was it lower? 10 degrees. And if I subtract 10 degrees, remember, if the signs are the same, I keep the sign, I add the numbers. So this will be the temperature on, what was the temperature on the mountain top? On the mountain top, it will be negative 11 degrees Celsius. Okay, there is the answer. So it's just into a nice sentence. Okay, number two. The sea level at high tide is this. What is the sea level when it is 1.97 meters above? So I'm asking for, this is like number two, the maximum. So it's basically just negative 0 0.53. And I add that 1.97. Now remember, what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract the numbers and I take the sign in front of the biggest movement. So that will be positive 1.44 meters. Okay, and again you can end with, uh, what, what is the sea level when it's above? Uh, what is the sea? The sea level is 1.44 meters. Okay, and then the last sum, number three. Uh, at noon on a particular day, the temperature at the bottom of the mountain was 12, and the temperature at the top of the mountain is negative 8. Calculate the difference. So remember, if I want to find the difference, it's going to be the maximum minus the minimum. So that is going to give me that 12, but don't forget to put that minimum in brackets, negative 8. And can you remember what do we do? So in this case, it's going to be 12. Now a negative Remember, I'm always showing it to you like this. It's multiply. A negative multiply a negative. There's two negative signs, so it's even, so it will be positive. And there's a 1, and 1 times 8 is 8. And if I add, so 12 plus 8, what will that be? 20. And now let's just see the difference. So it's 20 degrees Celsius. And you can end with a sentence like saying, the difference between the temperatures is 20 degrees Celsius.